All right, so everybody, welcome to the side scheme. I'm Banana Crapshoot, doing a car cast with my very um, illustrious co-host, Tommy of Titan. Tommy, you want to say hi to everybody? Let me out of your trunk right now. This is not nice. Right, right. So we're both uh, doing this while working, you know, so we're being very efficient with our time. And uh, we want we got a, uh, a spoiler from FFG, so we wanted to do a quick uh, car cast podcast uh, talking about our spoiler and the timing didn't really work out for us to record a normal episode last night. So we figured out a way to get this done. So, um, Tommy, do you have it in front of you? Are you driving? Are you able to look at it? Um, that you... memorized, engraved in my mind, banana. I don't need to look at it. Okay. So if you want to tell us what the card is and we can talk about it, I guess. Absolutely. It's a, uh, it's a two cost leadership event. Uh, it is aerial tactic, I believe. And it, it basically does uh, two damage to X amount of enemies, and X is equal to the number of aerial characters uh, you control. So, presumably your hero and any number of allies. So it's basically melee at a reduced cost with a minimum of zero for enemies that you're dealing damage to, and a maximum of... I guess probably in the ballpark of five or six, but realistically you're looking to get like two or three looking to hit two or three targets. Right. So it's called air supremacy. Um, It's a leadership card in star Lord's event, but you cut out there um, for a little bit. I don't know if you went in under a tunnel or something. Um, Ah, Possibly. But the, the card reads hero action, choose up to X enemies where X is equal to the number number of aerial characters you control and you deal three damage to each chosen enemy all right so I, th- I think the way this works is you have um you have three dudes on the board enemies two minions and the villain um you choose them and then because you have three aerial characters uh you deal three to each of them right yep that's correct so i mean so start right with the he gains aerial with the or any of the guardians can gain aerial with those um basic Upgrade the right. Is that it? The I forget I, which one's rocket and which one's the basic. I don't know. Does the basic give them aerial? I thought it just blocked damage. I know. I got a little bit. Um, I know uh, rockets. Uh, part the one in his signature set definitely grants him aerial. I'm not so sure about the the neutral one. All right. Um, can you think of any? Heroes from like the core set or the first wave that would um, benefit from this card. Is there anybody that gains aerial? Yeah, um, most of the uh, most of the heroes. Um, I don't think there's any that have a printed aerial uh, trait on them. But uh, Captain Marvel uh, can can play an upgrade that grants her aerial. Um, Doctor Strange's cloak uh, will grant him aerial. Uh, um, Mjolnir. I'm trying to think if there's any others that I could think of off the top of my head. Mjolnir will grant your boy Thor Ariel, yeah. um, which is pretty easy to get on him. You could pretty much guarantee that. Um, I think that might be it. I might be missing Spider one. Spider Woman. Am I missing uh, any? Games Ariel. Can, Spider Woman can. And, for, for a turn, yeah. though. It's off an event, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it, that self-propelled glide, it readies her and... Uh, gives her aerial, and then I think Wasp's wings give her aerial. Ah, uh, that's right. Wasp can gain it. Um, I don't think Scarlet Witch can. No. But yeah, you're right. I the 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 basic boots, and they just you can only. But they don't give aerial. I was I get mixed up with the one Rockets kit that gives them aerial. Um, yeah. Anyways, we we're, we've already there's lots of allies with aerial though, right? Stinger. Um, I'm trying to think Falcon. Of Falcon has aerial, yeah. Yep, and the the big thing um, for something that I've been interested in lately is the Voltron allies. And if, as long as you're an Avenger and you can play that Sky Cycle, that grants you aerial um, on that ally. So you know if oh, you can right. if you could play an Iron Man, um, you know Voltron deck where you're just trying to put cheap upgrades on him, keep him alive. You could grant him Ariel with that for free because he could play it for free. It's an upgrade on Iron Man, um, and then you you know as long as your hero has Ariel, you got two ally or two characters with Ariel, and right away that card is 
um, you know, a good value, two for six damage. Right. So is is two two characters with aerial? Because uh, like at, at one you're dealing you're you're spending three cards essentially, two cards plus. Level efficiency. Um, so, would two characters to deal six total damage be like the the minimum value you'd want off this card? Do you think? Yeah, I don't think I would play the card. Um, otherwise, unless it was a situation where I really didn't have much else to do, or uh, I really needed to find that extra bit of damage. You cut, that, out, you cut out there again after you. I you, yeah, I was saying I don't think I would play it. Um, for that unless i had to unless i didn't have anything else to do or i really needed that extra bit of damage on the turn so i kind of wish this was um an attack traded card just because um the wonder woman or not wonder woman uh miss marvel will get some mileage out of it um with it yeah. being an attack event uh because like sh- she's as far as leadership goes like she doesn't benefit from bouncing any cards back to hand except for her own um, mm-hmm. So it would be nice if she had like something in leadership to to make it a little better for her. Um, I love the artwork on this card. Um, for everybody listening, this is great radio. Um, but it's like Nova um, in front of like a bunch of like ships blowing up. It looks like those Chitari, uh, those big Chitari whale space whale things uh, blown up behind him. Um, yeah. So this is in Star Lord's kit, I think. I think this card is a little um, scenario specific, right? Like if you're playing uh, like Absorbing Man that doesn't have like any minions in his deck, this probably um, isn't a card you want to bring bring with you. But like something like uh, Drying with a Badoon or pretty much anything in Galaxy's Most Wanted because all those modular sets are full of minions. Um, this card, you're probably going to get some decent mileage out of it. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a it's like a sideboard card. Um, obviously, unless you're playing the expert campaign rules, uh, then you probably are just going to want to pack it because you're going to need it. <laughs> um, but yeah, for the most part, I think it's a uh, it, it's definitely a sideboard card. Yep, I think I agree with that. Um, I don't have anything else really on this card. Um, do you have anything else you want to touch on for this? Uh, I just want to say it's nice that it's a uh, um, it's nice to see an event that deals some damage and leadership. It gives you a little different way to play it. Um, so I understand why they didn't make it an attack because um, it's kind of off brand for leadership. But it is nice to give them some more versatility in that regard. I also think it's nice that we get some mileage out of Ariel finally. That's true too. <laughs> we have all these cards to give Ariel. Now we actually can do something with it other than um, have it. Um, yep. So yeah, so if you don't have anything else, then I think we'll wrap up this quick uh, spoiler car cast. Yeah, I'm good, man. It's good talking to you. For time, we have Titan, Day, Scheming, Champions. And then I will leave. So I downloaded this Craigbot to do this over the mobile devices.